Okay, so again, this is to repeat. So I'm going to rank these Korok puzzles for Tears of the Kingdom. I, th I guess in order would be like S would be that I enjoyed doing the puzzle or they're fun to do or they're clever. D is it feels like it's a waste of time or why am I doing this? Or it's annoying to do, right? I think so. And I'm going to move them around as I'm doing it. So let's start with the one where you jump in the circle pu puddle. I like the way this looks. I'm going to put in a B for now. I like that you have to you don't have to dive, but I like trying to find an intended way where you have to dive into it. Um, something about it is satisfying. Then there's this one with the cork. The cork is okay. You just have to find... Again, I like learning the intended way versus um, just pulling out using a rocket or something. But this one, you can be a little more clever. So I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put in B. But after, above the drop. Maybe I'll put the... No, I like the drop, though. Okay. The balloon. If it's a random balloon... Oh, there's no more balloon games. Um, So random balloon. Goodbye. I don't like you. Backpack. Uh, um, I like that it's different, and you have to use... They give you, like, the zone devices close by, and you have to figure out how to do them. And you need to find... Of course, you want to try to do it in an intended way. It does kind of feel like it's a waste of time using too much time and you wind up just keeping it simple but that's what it is uh these ones where you have to go under and ascend through it's kind of like the balloon you just have to find them and they're not in any place specific but the balloon is still i still don't like the balloon but also because the balloons are old am i biased because of breath of the wild balloons uh the puzzle see i like i like these now the cube thing this is a these are puzzles so i like it we're gonna put that under a the rock formation, I like it too. That's also a puzzle. You have to figure it out. It's kind of it can't, some of them are kind of easy, but oh, the um, what do you call it? Where it goes like where it drops. That's kind of annoying too. Uh, you have to jump and press A. I don't like that one, but I'm gonna. I like it better than the ascend one. The jumping and landing on a target. That one's okay. Oh, uh, you just it's a little too easy though. So I'm gonna put that here. What is this? Is this? You just have to find them on the wall? Nope, I don't like it. You have to find it. There's not many of them, though. You just have to literally just go on top of it. The um, donation ones. They're... I like them, but most of them are just apples. But something... I like these because you also get free materials. So I'm going to give that... Um... I, I, it's a decent puzzle. I'm going to give it a B. The one where you have to, they're just running around in a circle. That, I feel like you have to try. So I kind of like this one. And it's not like annoying. All right, the reason why I like this one better than the, um, what do you call it? What, could you, what do you call this thing again where it goes like that? Is because if you miss this one, you have to climb back up wherever you climb to go do it again. This one, you just have to like find, figure out its pattern and grab them. The flower one. This one is annoying, but I think it's a decent puzzle. I like it better than the rock. The racing one. Uh, I feel like there's not many in Tears of the Kingdom. But I don't hate it. They're just Some of them are just kind of easy. I'm putting it in B. The one where the arrows point to where to get them. I kind of like it. Let's see. Oh, the roof puzzles. This one was new. Like, these are kind of like in plain sight and you have to figure it out. So I don't hate this one. I like this puzzle one. I'm going to put that under... Would I rather... I'd rather do this and dive in a circle, for sure. The bell. This one's a clever one. You just have to find them and ring the bell. You can ring my bell. When I find... When you find it, it is kind of satisfying. I'm going to put it under B. The Korok one. Oh, uh, the nut one. It's the same thing of looking, but if you find it, it's kind of satisfying. The nut versus jumping in a circle. And most of these are under bridges, so I'm going to put it... I have a lot of bees. The nut one is boring, but some... I just like... the. Okay, here's why I kind of like the nut. It's because they, they're in they're in decent places where you could find them. It's still C, actually. Fine. Uh, leaves. The same thing. You just have to find it. Putting it under D. Making a roof is cool. This one's where you have to make a full roof. Uh, I like that one. And then I have under a rock. 
that's just as bad as the leaves. The nut S tier is for the one in Goron Village, that's it. And then I have the one on the uh, pedestal thing. Some of these are decent puzzles. All right, so do I adjust this? I'm changing things. Okay, I think I'm all right. All right, for Tears of the Kingdom, Korok puzzles in the D tier. In last place, we have the balloon. They're always in annoying places, hidden behind trees or whatever. Uh, then there's the the Korok stump on the wall. You have to climb the wall. It's always, it's a, I don't know. There's not many of these, but it's boring. Then there's the one where you have to ascend through. These are hard to find. And that there's one on the mountain, like all the way in the east of Hebra, right before you get to the Badlands. Like, no one's going to go there. I don't like it. Rocks, they're fine. They're just boring. Leaves, they're basically the same as rock. It's bigger. So you can, you can see these. No, but I don't hate them. I'm moving them to see, but same order. Then you have the arrow. The arrow just tells you where they are. Uh, it's kind of nice because there's there's not any more randomly placed ones like in Breath of the Wild. Then there's a the platform where you have to jump onto. They're fine. It's just a little easy. I don't see anything interesting about it. Then you have these. Um, I, for, I forgot what the heck you call these flower things. And then we have the 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 hanging nut. That one's okay. They're mostly on the bridges, so they're not too hard to find. The ones that are in the trunks are kind of annoying, but still interesting. The one you where you have to run in a circle, I I don't hate them. They're fun if it's not too boring. Dandelion? I think it's a dandelion. Oh, you're all saying it. Dandelions. Dandelion. Okay, fine. The hanging nut. I was careful what I said. Uh, then you have the racing ones. They're cool. Some of them are a little easy, but they're they're okay. Then you have the one that you put on a little pedestal. Some of these are actual puzzles. And you have to figure out how to do it. So I like it. The the donation. What do you call it? Another word for donation. Some of them are. I like them because you get free stuff. But also some of them, you have to be. You can be. You have to be smart about some of them. Jumping in a circle, but diving, finding the Nintendo way. That's satisfying. The bell. That one's kind of cool. If you find it, it's satisfying also. Then you have the make a roof. I don't know. That's new. So I kind of like it. A sack, an offer, that's the word. Then you have the other roof one where you have to put it to get like the puzzle. That one's cool. Then you have the rock puzzle. Um, I like trying to figure it out. And then you have to find the rock too. So it makes you think. Then there's the cork one. Of course, these are easy. You could just do a rocket, but sometimes they give you stuff that you can use. So that one makes it interesting if you try to figure out the intended way. Then there's the flower. These are annoying, but I like, I don't know, it's kind of fun. And then you have the block puzzles. I like it because it feels like a puzzle. So I think it's cool. And then, of course, the other S tier is find a friend. These are my ranking for puzzles in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, because I didn't want to make my own, we're going to do one more. We're going to do the seed puzzles for Breath of the Wild. Pushing the rock in a hole. I kind of like it. Let's put it at B. Uh, the puzzle block one, I already said I like that. That's going under S. Offering, that's going to be, right? The race. Um, this image is too small for me. Oh, apple trees? Apple trees were annoying, weren't they? The apple ones? No, they're really annoying. If you miss it, you miss it. The rocks? Like I said, they're fine, but they're boring. Diving in circle? I like it. Oh, the rock in the rock circle. These were annoying. But they were kind of fun if you figured it out. I think I like this one. Oh, a random one? No. That annoyed me that there was random ones. Then you have the flower ones. I liked the flower ones. Why is this so dark? I can't see what this is. <laughs> oh, it's the re it's the flower one, but like the one, two, three, four, five. No, this one's boring. Uh, it's okay. Like, yeah, it's not bad. That's going to see. The, the shooting balloons. I like these. These were kind of fun. I'm putting under S. Rock circles. I like those. And then the rock ball and chain. Um, They were okay. B. So these are my ranking for Korok seed puzzles. We have the random one. Just at a random place. I hate it. Uh, the apple puzzle. Annoying. Then we have the one, two, three, four, five one. Uh, flowers. That one is boring too. 
then the same just the random uh then you have the ball and chain see that's a puzzle decent puzzle i like that one the racing one that one's cool jumping in a circle satisfying pushing the rock into a hole that one's great throwing the rock into a rock circle that's fun uh it's sometimes very hard but it's still fun the offering one it's kind of i'm moving it down it's i don't know something about it's cool then you have the flowers I, th I think i like this better than the flowers the flowers are a cool puzzle oh i like these better i'm putting these up here then you have the rock circle that one's okay it's nice to figure it out and also find the rock and then you have the bow and arrow shooting balloons that move around that one's cool and then you have the um, the puzzle with the blocks there goes that well there you go that's me ranking all the korok puzzles in breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom